I feel like in this climate, if you don't have money, you almost need to go and get good at something else first mm. Mm. <laughs> and right. come back, right? Bruce I don't need else. Every time I'm with you, yo, it's something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Get your hand out, you don't even need a help. Oh, I don't need nothing else. Every time I'm with you, yo, it's something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Get your hand out, you don't even need a help. Oh, that's right. I don't need nothing else. That's right. King Stream Entertainment. So it wasn't about the money for you, it was more no, about flexible life. Okay. Always. Okay. Always. But you do have to make a living. Mm -hmm. So when I started, I would do, and I did a lot of free work. People mm -hmm. under underestimate the value of free yeah. work. Let's say, I was telling Marcus this, let's mm -hmm. say, um, you know, he wants to start something and somebody else wants to start something. Mm -hmm. And then this guy went to college, got a degree, mm -hmm. you know, thinks he's worth X amount of dollars. Right. And here's Marcus mm -hmm. who just wants to do it because he wants to learn and, and grow and do something that he enjoys. Yeah. This dude, uh, has in inquiries mm -hmm. and he's pricing himself at five hundred dollars a job. Mm -hmm. People can't afford it. He's not doing it. Marcus takes the job mm -hmm. for free, mm -hmm. for a portfolio yep. for fifty bucks. Yep. Um, gets a review and then gets word of mouth to you know three people at least. People mm -hmm. are gonna watch that video. Yep. Who filmed that? Yep. Marcus. Now Marcus's name is in three people's ears. Mm -hmm. One of them does it as well. Hires him for something. Mm -hmm. So he's got now word of mouth from mm. 20 different people right already has two jobs in portfolio mm. and now has reviews and can justify mm. his price on this guy just because he has a degree uh, or because he's better yeah um, not getting any work no reviews no anything yeah well the value of what your value is is an interesting conversation right so like i can value my beats at ten thousand dollars mm -hmm. and there's people like that they're like there's people that kind of live and like oh this is what i'm worth right and then there's like the, okay, well, this is what the market says you're worth. Mm -hmm. And then there's kind of the middle ground of like, what are you willing to get up and go work for? You know, so if you think your music videos are worth $5,000, but nobody's willing to pay $5,000 mm -hmm. to get a video shot by mm -hmm. Nick D, um, then you're not going to get a ton of work. But if you're saying, well, I, I, yeah, I feel like my value is here. However, my asking rate is 500 people are offering me five mm -hmm. okay well i'll get up and go do it for 750 mm -hmm. right like i think the 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 rate of of what is someone's true value in the marketplace is a very interesting conversation because i get artists hit me up all the time they're like yo how how much should i charge for shows mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i'm like well how many tickets can you sell at the door right. <laughs> you yeah, know absolutely. like how many tickets can you sell there? can you can you sell a thousand dollars worth of tickets mm -hmm. then you should charge 750 right. so the promoter makes something off of it right so i think that that becomes the, the tough part is just even figuring out value but i like what you said in terms of your um value can be finessed, persuaded, manipulated in a way by adding value to other people, building a portfolio, becoming very proficient, mm -hmm. taking any gig, and then eventually you can set your rates at whatever rate you yeah. want to do, right? Yeah. Um, as a cinematographer, photographer, do you feel like that gives you a competitive edge in the marketplace as an artist? Absolutely. Okay. How so? I was able to, and obviously throughout the year, so you already know, but last year I put out 24 music videos yep. and only 24 singles. Yep. Now that, I was going to get to that, but go ahead. Yeah. So that's more difficult yep. for someone who doesn't own the equipment, right? Hello. So I have all the equipment. Mm -hmm. I have backdrops in my studio. I have the editing software. Mm -hmm. and not only that, I'm good at it. Mm -hmm. So not only does it save you money, mm -hmm. Uh, and time, mm -hmm. it it enables you to drop content so consistently, but at a high level. Yep. Um, that's like you you call it a cheat code, mm -hmm. and I never thought of it as that, but it kind of, it kind yeah. of is. Yeah. Having that background. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I just did a video recently where I said. Uh, four things that rappers all should have, mm -hmm. like four things rappers should invest in. And it was like having their own st setup, um, having their own setup. Uh, and I, was, I think the second thing I said was having your own camera or DSLR. Mm -hmm. I feel like in this climate, if, you're, if you don't have money, you almost need to go and get good at something else mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and come back, right? So it's always like if you if if, if you don't have bread or you don't have relationships, mm-hmm. which are also can be more valuable than having money. You don't have the money to pay somebody, or you don't have the relationships of people that believe in you mm-hmm. to to do it for you. A brother that does video, yeah. a cousin, that your homie that can do video, that can mm-hmm. shoot videos, like right. You almost got to hit pause and say, I'm going to go get a, build a platform on TikTok. I'm going to go build a platform somewhere yeah. else, get the numbers up, yeah. and then people will come and come alongside and want to help you once they see the momentum going yeah. and they see an audience. Do you think that rappers, independent artists in this climate should be aggressively learning video and photo? The key word is independent. Mm-hmm. And yes. yes. Um, and it could also... It doesn't have to be video because or photography. All it has to be is something that brings value to somebody else mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because the barter system yeah, yeah. is very important. Mm-hmm. So, for example, lately I've been bartering, mixing, mastering, and mm-hmm. beats mm-hmm. for my video services. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's great. And we both win. Yep, both win. You know? Yep. Um, so if, you have, if you're talented at something else, you have something to offer someone. Yes. That's very important. Yes. That's good, man. But... but most people are going to push back and say that uh, they don't have the time, they don't have the money, they don't, they, you know, what, is, what would your rebuttal be in that sense? I always, I've said it to you before, if it's important to you, you'll find a way. Mm. And if it's not, you'll find an excuse. Mm-hmm. So if it's really not important to you, you'll continue to make excuses. Mm. I think that, um, I think there's people that can shoot better on their cell phone because they learned mm-hmm. how to shoot yep. than other people can with a DSLR yeah. and, and get a better product out of it. It's good. Um, so And everyone has a cell phone. Mm-hmm. So I think if you're saying, well, I, w- I, would, I would do my own music videos if I had a camera. You do. It's on your phone. Mm-hmm. And you can create content. People overthink content. Content mm-hmm. is king. Mm-hmm. Uh, quality is subjective. Uh, mm-hmm. So if you're shooting on your phone, some people might even not notice. Mm-hmm. You're the only one that might know. Mm-hmm. So. That's good. And, and and even in shooting on your phone, you said something to me, and it's such an aha moment. But it is you said, um, you said, man, a lot of times it's just lighting, oh, <laughs> like a good. <laughs> I mean, we got a lighting, a lot yeah. of lighting in here. People can't see, but a lot of times it's just lighting will take something further. And a lot of times um, we're giving away a lot of free game here on this video. But a lot of times, even if you're shooting on your phone, I got my phone here, yeah. and having a little light like this, which um, mm-hmm. I got from. Sean Cannell, shout out to Sean Cannell Video Influencers. But a little light like this, yep. or throw it on the back yep. uh, to, to, to get a good shot uh-huh. with your iPhone, like this little light can make a huge difference, especially if you're shooting on a, a late model iPhone. You can get a really good look getting a moment lens. If you're yep. just messing Something around with those. those moment lenses. So instead of spending $2,000 on your camera yeah. setup, you buy a moment lens yep. for 150 in the case for yep. 30 yep. and you $200 and under. Yep. You can and shoot. then get an app that can control yeah, more, more settings and all that kind of stuff. One one pro tip, finessing light, Yeah. shut off all the lights, uh-huh. open up your windows. Mm, that's good. Natural light. Natural, yeah. consistent, clean light. That's yeah. budget light. That, yeah. That's the budget best light. Yeah, that's uh, good. You know, some people can't afford the lightings we have in here. So I asked you about being a cinematographer, photographer, giving that, that giving you an advantage. Obviously, it gives you an advantage. Let me ask you a different question. We, we got to play basketball mm-hmm. last night. Gosh, that feels like a long time ago. It was just last night. And we had a good time, and you're very good at basketball. You can dunk. You're very athletic. Do you think being an athlete, yeah. even though you didn't play college ball mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. whatever, you, 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 you were able to develop a skill mm-hmm. of being able to jump higher, run faster, shoot better, do you think that gives people advantages in the music industry? Or, in, or being an entrepreneur. Let's say music, not music industry, but being an entrepreneur. I think that if people are good at focusing on something Mm -hmm. to the point where they can become good at it, Mm -hmm. you can transition that across anything. So that's a mindset. Yeah, it's a mindset. Yeah, Yeah, that's a mindset. Mm -hmm. So I think if, like I said, if you can lock in Mm -hmm. and know that you're not good at something, Mm -hmm. be okay with that, but be willing to learn and grow, you can cross the board, you know. That's good. Anything. Um, but I think specifically being an athlete or, or being... Um, I think there's a... I ask because I think there's a lot in the self-discipline, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the consistency, the self-discipline, the showing up yes. when you feel hurt, right? When your muscles are sore. That's 90% of showing right. up. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I think 
if someone doesn't have the grit, if someone doesn't have that grit from something else, whether it's learning piano, whether yeah. it's being a gymnast, whatever, yeah. and then they're trying to, at 18, 17, 18, 19, mm -hmm. 20 years old, hop into being an entrepreneur, yeah. being a musician, being a creative, it's tough, man. Right. And I see people do it all the time, and I and I think back of so much of me going back in high school, mm -hmm. uh, ninety five degrees out, where doing stadium jumps, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you just get to this point where your brain shuts yeah. off, and you're like, "Well, I'm here yeah. for the next hour, and we're just gonna suffer." And you just do it, yeah. you know what I mean? And I th I think that mentality or that I don't know if it's a mentality or a muscle. I think there's a muscle there that you develop from doing hard things, yeah. suffering, is to me the most transferable to being a creative and an entrepreneur yeah. because it requires the same, maybe not physically, it's not as physical, but it's a, it's a great metaphor. So have you ever saw that in your own, in, in like your own mentality in terms of how you are able to push through and learn these new crafts and new skills despite, and we, I wanna, we can get specifically on what I'm talking about, yeah. but like despite uh, it being hard. Yeah, and that falls into me knowing what I want mm -hmm. and not letting anything get in the way of that. Mm -hmm. um, and it also, I mean, I'm married, mm -hmm. so the balance of, because I can go, 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 mm -hmm. but that doesn't necessarily make a happy home life. Yes, absolutely. Um, so finding that balance, I don't, I'm, I, like you said, some, some you said something about being a different breed mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I don't need caffeine. Mm -hmm. um, God bless you, bro. Like, I, I don't know. I'm with my caffeine right here, guys. <laughs> if I want it, mm -hmm. whatever it is, mm -hmm. I don't want to call it uh, easy, mm -hmm. but I'm, like, laser focused. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I've been up for a minute, now I'm down for it. I've been good with the team, never bad for it. I'm a work for the winner, never slack for it. And I live for the king, I got a crown for it. I know the way, ayy, know the way. He really is the way, he the way, ayy. You can follow me, ayy, I know the way, ayy. Never been afraid, cause we know the way, ayy. Ah, ayy, ain't no shame in the way.